Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I do like the, the sound that the beacons make. How's everyone doing? I'm doing all right. It's been, it's been a little bit since I recorded. Um, been a little busy. Let's go downstairs. This should be the quickie way to get downstairs now, but, ah, uh, there we go. Goodness gracious. So I've got some uh, shulker boxes here. Um, look at this. I've got a bunch of tridents. Most of them are broken down a little bit. Most all of them are broken down a little bit. Um, and I've got some books here with different things on it. So I have a, I now have my, my long sought after channeling trident. Uh, Riptide and that's channeling. Haven't, oh, I hate that it does that. Um, haven't done anything with it yet. I need to build like a shulker, I mean a, a creeper farm, but I've got books and stuff ready to go on some of these, particularly to get mending on these and then get them all repaired up. Um, it's expensive. It takes a lot of uh, levels. So I'll need to spend some time at the gold farm taking care of this, but that's not what we're doing today. Trident and books. There we go. So. Uh, I've got magma blocks and soul sand and glass and ice. Let's, uh, let's go do something. But first, I need to go to sleep. It's a little creepy when the sound engine breaks and the, and the, the electro sound goes away. So let's go check out the, what's going on at the iron farm real quick. Not the main goal here today, but oh look, there's a little bit of iron. So I think, oh yeah, we that that's cool. Let's see how many blocks I get out of that. Twenty-seven blocks, not too bad. I think uh, Vex FX when he's in his castle, bloop, uh, the iron farm is loaded. I mean, you can't see the cat, you can't see his castle, but I think that is the case. Because he was on yesterday, I think. And there was a ton of iron in there. And we were over at the cove checking out some stuff. I think this, yeah, I think the, I think the iron farm is in, uh, is loaded when we're over here. Uh, but he built another fishing farm. Plop. Let's go see what it looks like. Oh, that's right. Um, not sure how this works. We need a fishing fishing rod, loot. No fishing rods here. Okay, he's got an awful shell. Okay, not bad. Let me see if I can find a fishing rod real quick. Um, and we'll give it a, oh wait, nope. Hi, Joe. Oh, were there fishing rods in here? Oh, there are fishing rods in there. Okay, I pulled mine out of my, out of my uh, ender chest. I don't know, let's see how this works. You... I'm guessing this is how it works, but I'm not catching anything. Huh, that's right. Unless the hopper's picking it up faster than I can grab it, in which case it might be over here. Yeah, no, nothing new. Okay, I don't know how it works. I will have to ask or play around with it. Not important right now. 
So I'm over here in the spawn area, and there was this little island here that I always was like, oh, I need to do something with this. And I finally came up with an idea for it. So, Bang Splat build coming soon. So let me put some stuff down here. Where's the nearest bed? There will be a bed inside the welcome center, should I need it. And let me get some stuff laid out, and we will get started. I hear some creeping breathing sounds. Is there a drown around me here somewhere? What's going on over there? Oh, it's just a fish. Fishy, fishy. All right, so I had this idea of building something here. Blah, blah, blah. I think this will work. This is. I guess a reasonable placement. I think the walking right across from there. I'll put a little bridge in here or something. So from here you can come up and say, oh, look over there. There's something. And up and come out to this. So I'm going to build a fishbowl. Which I think will be an appropriate thing for a trident shop. Oh. It's a nice location. And I was kind of thinking of building like a tower here, like a defense tower or something, but I think this is better. So I need to come up with the right fishbowl shape. And so this is like the base and then I want to go out one more and I think it won't be like the crazy roundiest sort of fishbowl in the world, but I'm using plots uh, to figure out the the right shape so um let's put this down there blop and then there would be one there but i don't want it and then in and around so this is uh plop 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 yeah there we go yeah so this is uh, i need some dirt or something to help with this but i'm sure i will have some soon enough and the sun's starting to go down. So let me get this built out a little bit and we can take a look and see if the shape is nice. I have not done the sensible thing, which would be to build this in a creative world and see if I like it. And I may decide, oh, let's replace all of the things of block glass with something else like colored glass or something like that. I don't know. We will find out and we will find out together. Sun's going down. Uh, it's my first night out. I don't think I need to go find a bed just yet. Up. And we need a door, so we'll have this as our entrance. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to build it up a couple layers and we'll take a look at it and see how it's doing. When you're building with glass, it's a lot easier if your scaffolding or support, your temporary blocks are noticeably different. So I'm building a fishbowl. In case that's not obvious, I'll have to put it in the floor uh, and then and then, then I'll dig down. The sun's coming up. I think I need one more up there of that brim. So we will use our logs here to peel her up. Yeah. So difficult to see where the glass blocks are. Okay, but I think we're doing pretty good here. And I'm thinking a little, a little, was that right? Yes, it was. A little brim around the outside so it's nice and visible from down below. And it, obvious what it is uh, but we'll have to get that in place and see it from actually see it from down below Bloop. see there you can actually see the bowl like shape and then I'm thinking go out one more block here let's try that and see what it looks like 
There we go. Now, does that look like a fishbowl from here? Uh, I don't know that I like that lip. Yeah, it's too, uh, the lip should be smaller and it's not going to be smaller. So let me take that down. Hello, Mr. Big Man. Okay, so does that look like, okay. So next thing I need to do is I need to probably need to build this up, right? And make this a little tunnel so that I can block the water. And then I need to replace the ground with uh, with glass and block the water with what? Fence gates. I, I will have I will have to uh, play around with that. So let me, and then we will be filling up the bowl with water. And the floor maybe should not be glass. I mean, it should be glass, and that's what fishbowl bottoms are made out of, but maybe I put some coral in or something. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so put this there. Replace the bottom here with, with, with glass, and then we will take a look. I don't know how it's going to work from over here. We'll, we'll, we'll see when I get it filled up with water. But to make that easier, I need to make another conduit. I do have some hearts of the sea and some nautilus shells. So let's do that. And then I've got some prismarine blocks. So let's go build ourselves a conduit. And we'll do one out here in the bay. It's close enough to this. Um, oh man, I was hoping that was a puffer fish because I want me a puffer fish. So we could put the conduit down here so that people out in the bay get the benefit of it. Have to just be within 50 blocks of, of this and the underwater this. Hi, dolphins. So let's see, looking here positive. Look at an X. We're at about X475, so X425 would be fine. Do X430. I want to make it so that we get some people get the benefit from this. Whoa. Hi. Oh, hello. Um, oh gosh. Ah, stop it. <laughs> um if I put it down here, is this gonna work? Okay, let's try it. Two, three. Keep an eye on your how I don't remember how this gets built. Right, so this is, need a ring of these things, right? Five, I think, like that. Five, nope, not that one. Come back, I need air anyway, so let me get some. <sighs> okay, uh, okay, plop. Is that beating sound? Was that like dolphin, dolphin sonar? Yeah, hello. Um, I hope that was dolphin sonar. And do I have enough blocks to actually make my ring that I need? One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. No, I'm out. Oh, I'm almost out of air. Breathe, get up, breathe. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. So I'll take down this. We'll make a mini one first. Good. So we'll make one ring. Plop. And we'll put the conduit in that. I think this will work. Do I need, I need a temporary block, right? Because the conduit, stop it. Conduit needs to be in the middle of it. There we go. Now I can breathe. But I need more prismarine blocks. Any kind will do. So this is a short distance thing. Okay, I have more. I just don't have them here. Let me go get them. 
And actually, I, sh I should just get a whole shulker box full of the prismarine and put it in with my... You know where it should be? It should be in with my beacon. I should keep uh, conduits in there too, right? Yeah, that would be nice. All right. Let me go get some more stuff and we will be back. Hello, Mr. Drown. Don't think I don't see you. There we go. Okay. Now we can breathe underwater, and I should still have the effect up here. When I'm up here inside the fishbowl. Right? Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Let's go put this up here. There we go. All right, so let's get working. Oh, I didn't need to do that. That's fine. So, um, uh, oh. Do I have more glass in my pocket? No, I do not. Do I need this glass block? Yes, I do. Okay, that'll work. There we go. Uh, so anyway, let me get this going. How are you? Um, I think we already discussed that. I've got, oh, okay, that'll, that'll work. Ah, uh, so um, it was just recently Thanksgiving here in the United States. Our Canadian friends celebrate it early, um, which is fine. That's that's their prerogative. Um, but the uh, oh, look at that. So I hope if you celebrate Thanksgiving that you had a good one. I did. It was, uh... oh, look at that. You can stand under here and breathe. And how does that look from the outside? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's get it all filled up. Hopefully it looks like a fish, fish bowl. Um, that's the intention here. Oops. Ah. So this was the first Thanksgiving that I've had in a while that uh, I didn't travel for. Used to be it was always going to my parents' place um, or Chihuahua Powered G's parents' place. And uh, we decided for a variety of reasons that uh, we were going to do the, the Thanksgiving celebration at Chihuahua Power G's parents' place uh, later. Sort of, we're going to do that. There we go. Uh, we were going to do that this next weekend, the following weekend. Um, that's That was just a scheduling logistics thing. Um, and we will, we will do that at that point. Of course... My parents are no longer with us, so we won't be doing Thanksgiving at their place anymore. Um, so it was the first one just home alone. And that was interesting. So we made our own dinner and uh, cooked a turkey and got to do all the, the things that uh, we normally do elsewhere. Is that right? Um, when we when we travel, it's you know, we sort of participate in preparing the feast and and whatnot. And uh, so it was ice. I'm out of ice. So that was ice. Let's grab a couple just in case.
So that was so that was a, a new experience. Oops. Um, but it was good. We uh, Thanksgiving can be a little challenging for me food-wise because I have lots of stupid food allergies, like a ridiculous list of stupid food allergies, and so um, figuring out the right uh, the right things to make. There we go. Wow, look at that. Uh, can be can be an interesting challenge, but it's doable. So we just uh, plop, plop. So we just make the right things and uh, and avoid things that make me sick, and that's all. It's all good. Oops, did not mean to put that there. Should I grab that one? Yeah. Oh wow! And you can see underwater when you're in here. Because you're underwater. Nice. So, anyway, um. Oh. Is this unbroken ice? Wow. And is this unbroken ice? Yes, it is. There we go. Nice. Anyway, so that was, uh, Thanksgiving was good. Um, I hope yours was. We cooked a turkey. Found a, um, dressing or stuffing recipe. I don't really call it stuffing because it doesn't get stuffed in the bird. Uh, but we made a, a dressing recipe, which was actually really yummy. And it did not use any... Ha <laughs> ha, Darren. Uh, it didn't use any, uh bread even even gluten-free bread it was just um, used rice instead so we took rice and a sausage and uh, mix that up and put in some uh, put in some uh, stock from the turkey uh, we made we, the, from the the turkey. We made a bone bra. We made stock from the the leftover remains of the bird, which is good. And we used that as uh, as part of the flavoring of this dressing. It was really good. And put that all and then and a bunch of cheese. So it's not not at all a traditional, um, not at all traditional dressing or. Sorry, get out of here. Not at all traditional stuffing slash dressing recipe. <clears throat> but it was it was good. It was yummy. And it had the nice, it had the good flavor. And it had a little bit of crunch to it. And it had a little bit of... Because um, the, the rice crisped up when you put it in the roaster. And... It was it was good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I think that will become a Thanksgiving tradition for us. And I believe we're making some for this weekend's um, 12 Power G family Thanksgiving activities. There we go. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So that's our fishbowl. Hopefully it reads as fishbowl. Um, and then I've got signs here keeping the water from spilling out all over the place. And I've got a conduit down there. Hi, Mr. Dolphin. Oh, there's lots of them. Hey guys. I wonder if I wonder if you can I wonder if I could get one in here and name tag it if it'll stay inside. I don't want it to swim out the door and end up uh suffocating but anyway so this this i want to be the entrance to my little shop but the shop's going to be down below so you're going to come in here boop, and then probably right here and go into a bubble column down to go down into the shop i suppose i could just put some chests right in here Huh. 
I'm gonna have to think about that. But I can put I can put some chests in here. And you could come in and say, hey, I want one of those one of those there tridents. And uh, and then uh, plop plop. And then uh, put some some diamonds in the chest because the tridents are a bit of work. And oh wow, uh, they're they're a bit of work to uh, to farm up. I've managed to get a few. Uh, I have like thirty of them. I had thirty one. I gave one. I gave one to uh, Barb Mix things. Huh? Yeah. You know what? My intent, my initial plan was to make a bubble column down, but I'm now wondering if I just do it in here, similar to what I did in the potion shop, right? potion shop of course I didn't have it one down in the floor okay I'm gonna have to think about that but we'll leave that for another time and I have other plans for things to work on yeah from over here that doesn't particularly look like a Doesn't particularly look like a fishbowl. But fishbowls come in different shapes, right? You know what? I'm going to extend that up one more. Anyway, I'm going to do that and then uh, we will let this be for the time being and come back and work on it later and decide whether or not to dig down into the ground and put a shop down below. Glass. And... There we go. But you don't have to watch all that. We will take care of it. And then I will see you next time. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you later. All right. Bye.